Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. And today I wanted to talk about another vehicle that draw a lot of attention this week with the leaks that we had. We don't know if the leaks are even true or not, uh, we will probably see it uh, during the week because of course uh, the more stuff we get um, shown from the dev blogs, the more it will be correct or wrong on the leak itself, right? So, uh, we don't know yet, but there is a specific vehicle that is quite interesting and I'm kind of divided if I honestly agree that it, it might come or not. Uh, and that is the Leopard 2A4M, uh, the Canadian one. It is, first of all, let's talk a little bit about what it is, right? It is an upgraded Canadian version of the Leopard 2A4. It was initially acquired from the Royal Netherlands Army Surplus and um, basically the idea was to be, a, a, be a, basically a, a special design for the war in Afghanistan or that type of war, you know, uh, based off a lot of the experience that the Leopard 2 operators had, right? Uh, the first 20 were delivered in October 2010 and they were uh, actually deployed to Afghanistan in the end of 2010 and operated until July 2011, so pretty interesting. Um, though it was originally to be used with the L-55 gun, it actually, um, I mean, the L-55 would be better for tank-to-tank -tank combat, but the thing is that in Afghanistan, you normally don't see that type of combat anyway, uh, during this time, you know, that they were there. So they just decided to, because it was cheaper, of course, uh, as well, uh, to retain the L-44, the good old L-44, right? Um, so it is, the initial idea was to use the 55, but they ended up just using the 44. Uh, only small areas of Zlat Armored were, uh, the Zlat Armor was, were actually used, you know? and they were a little bit different from the fully caged 2A6, for example. Um, but it was a better armor because it had an augmented uh, applique armor resembling the 2A7, okay? So I don't know if it was exactly bound, like in the same 2A7, you know, if it was the same type of armor or anything like that, but it was pretty similar, at least. Uh, but it was, of course, modified a lot to be, you know, adapted to the turret of the 2A4, which is a little bit different. It's a little bit older, right? The funny part is that they continue to acquire more 2A4s to actually be used. Like, for example, Canada bought in February 2011-12 uh, 2A4s or Panzer 87s from Switzerla Switzerland's uh, force, um, for the Force Mobility Enhancement Project as well. So, um, yeah, they bought a lot of them, and they, but the main ones were ex-Dutch tanks, basically. So this is the 2A4M, a 2A4 that has a little bit more armor, and the same gun. Uh, different camouflages, of course, everything with that. So it can be a very interesting um, design to actually have as a premium, or even a vent vehicle, you know, something that it's a little bit different from the Tech 3. Um, it's on the leak they didn't specify which of the countries would receive this nation this tank because obviously we don't have a Canadian tech tree and of course they didn't confirm if it was going to be a premium or not um, the thing is that this is where I think I, I I'm still kind of divided at first it was oh this is a good idea right I mean a 2A4 that is modified to be close to the 2A6 or something like that, or close to like a modernization of it, it makes sense, it's similar to something like the Leopard 2PL from Poland, right? But at the end of the day, we already have the PL as an event vehicle or squadron vehicle, right? I have to check if it is either or, let me check, yeah, it is um, actually a squadron vehicle, right? So we already have that, and then as a premium, we are heavy, we already have the Leopard 2 Panzer Battalion 1 two three right of course this thing would obviously be a higher br you know it has a similar armor 
in a general sense it's not really that similar but I mean you know what I mean um, to something like a 2A6 or 2A5 or 2A7 between those right so of course if we are talking about Leopard 2 that would be a higher rank uh, it would be I don't know maybe an 11.3 like the clickbait um, M1A1, right? Or maybe like, for example, the... Um, I was going to see the Russians, but they don't have one. Uh, the Challenger 2. I was forgetting what country had one as well. 11.3 premium, right? Um, so there's a lot of countries that actually are missing these 11.3s or higher tier ranks, uh, rank premiums, right? And the German, uh, the German nation, the Germans could actually take something like this to be an 11.3 so at the same time i'm divided a little bit on the sense that they already have the pl as an 11.3 uh, squadron vehicle and they already have the leopard 2 as a 10.3 premium as a 2a4 since this is a 2a4 as well i was kind of wondering is this really even realistic to expect uh but if you take a look on all the nations there's a lot of nations that are missing these higher tier uh, premiums, you know, uh, the majority of them, to be honest. Uh, I mean, to be really, really honest, the only two ones that have a higher tier um, premium like this are the Americans and the British of all countries. It's kind of weird, like an 11 plus premium. Like, so we can expect a lot of these nations to receive ma the majority of them. Germany, USSR, Israel, Sweden, France, Italy, China, Japan even. We can all uh, expect 11 plus premiums coming to these nations, in my opinion. Uh, so, although I'm still kind of, mm, I don't know if I see this thing coming, uh, I have a feeling that at the end of the day, it would make a lot of sense. And it would be a cool vehicle. Of course, it is a Leopard 2A4. Um, at the end of the day, it is a German vehicle. So, I don't think it should be added... Uh, as a Commonwealth vehicle to the UK, for example, they already got a T90 there, um, just like, I mean, which is a very co good vehicle, you know, it's 10.3, but still, uh, they have the Challenger DS as a 10.0, and the Challenger uh, 2 OES as an 11.3, so it doesn't make much sense, um, the US is a Canadian vehicle, I mean, I mean, the US already has the M1A1 as well, so the only two nations that it would make a little bit sense, just a little bit, um, that it's not Germany. They already have 11.3s, you know, as premium. So, yeah, uh, I see this thing. If it's going to be added, if the leak is real, as I said, we still have to wait. Uh, but even if it is not real, it's like a very good suggestion for the uh, for Gaijin, you know, as a higher tier German tank premium. Uh, so that can actually be uh, very, very competitive. And I would actually be very excited to have it. Uh, maybe I get lucky just like I did with the Challenger 2. Oh, yes, and I get in a trophy. And yes, I did that out of luck. I actually got in the first trophy on the first event. I got a uh, uh, Challenger 2. Oh, yes, so it was kind of crazy. But yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the Leopard 2A4M. I think it's an amazing addition. Hopefully it gets added. Uh, let's hope and see that the patch gets going very, very soon as well. I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye guys. And yeah, rip. Bye guys. <laughs> see you.